we were on our way out to do something a bit special in the boating world. You cut me loose and set me free. You cut me loose. You make me win in every way. Win in every way. You show me how to spread my wings. Yes, I'm the winner of the day. You cut me loose and set me free. You make me win in every way. You show me how. Something special is anchor it out. So let's have a look at how we do that. But this is where we're going to be anchoring. Now, the first, first thing you want to look at, the main thing, is the wind direction. So, wherever the wind direction is, is going to determine where we anchor. If the wind is coming from this way, you want to anchor over that way. If it's coming from this way, you want to anchor over that way. And I'll do a little diagram just to show you why, just to explain that. Right, why should you take the wind into account? Well, there are two reasons, two main reasons. If you've got a big expanse of water, and your wind direction is from this angle. If you were to anchor over here, then you've got what's called a lot of fetch. So because the wind's coming from here, at this point here is not affected the water very much. It's not been over the water for a long enough time to affect it. So you'll have a fairly calm conditions. And then as it gets across, it will get wavier and wavier and the waves will build up and get stronger towards where you are. On an inland waterway, that's not going to be particularly dangerous. It'd be very uncomfortable, or could be very uncomfortable. So that's one reason. The second reason is that when you come to lift your weight to get back off, as you lift, as you pull your weight, it's not always possible to just pull the weight or your anchor up and then get moving. Something else could happen. There could be, you could have weeds tangled everywhere it's going to take you a couple of minutes to get it all stowed and put away nicely and in those couple of minutes that wind is blowing you towards this shore this bank here so you've not got long you've got you've got seconds before you're up against the the bank if you were to anchor over here Then you've got nice calm water and in the morning or later on that day whenever you're going to lift your anchor or mud weight you can pull that up the wind is going to be blowing you out so you've got ages and ages to clean your anchor system clean your mud weight get everything stowed away correctly get everything put away and out of the way and then you can get moving and be on your way. So that's the two reasons. Right, so anchoring out, or the way we do it on the boards is mud weighting. Um, we use a mud weight, which is a big, heavy weight like this. Look, we drop off, it sinks into the mud, hold you steady 
Uh, yeah. Launching. Launching your mud weight. You, you can just never lower it down gently until it just touches the bottom. It will just sit on the surface and it will drag. Or if you, you know, in a wind it can drag. Um, so you want to give it, you want to let it drop. You can throw it from here, but in my experience, there's a big ploosh and because of the wind direction is coming from where you're facing usually, you end up wearing it. So the best way to do it is to lower it down so the mud weight just breaks the surface of the water and then let it drop. So let's do that now. Also, a good tip is to keep your foot, keep your foot on the end of the rope, so the whole lot can't just go over out of control and you lose the lot. So we get our mud weight, lower it over. Right, that's just broken the surface of the water, and then you just want to let it go. Pull your rope up. Take the slack off your rope. And then you just want to tie that off. There we go. Mud weighted. This boat is equipped with a proper anchoring system as well, with an anchor chain and a winch, which I'll use on blustery days, windy, windy days. I only use the mud weight on, um, on a calm day, not a lot of wind. Um, You'll need to work out, if you haven't got a mud weight and you're looking to buy one, you need to work out what weight you need for your boat. So just research the size of your boat, what size mud weight you're going to need. Don't go for don't go for cheap, get a small one, it won't hold you. And the thing, if you've never done it before, always do it in daylight. Never come down, never get to somewhere in the dark, drop your mud weight. Because you need to take transits to make sure you're not dragging, which let's have a look at doing that now. Okay, transits. Now, from looking out from the side of your boat, either side, doesn't matter, as long as you can get a transit, you're looking for two immovable objects. So from here, and I've Excuse the picture quality because I've zoomed right in because I can see it clearly with the naked eye but it's not picking up on the camera very easily but just there you'll see a post and then behind it you'll see a dredger neither of those are going to move so we've got those lined up with each other so the post is lined up with the those two poles on the dredger now if we start dragging back if the wind starts pushing us back and our mud weight starts dragging this dredger is going to start moving backwards or this pole is going to start sort of moving ahead of the dredger as we come back so you might not be able to tell you might not be able to tell with a naked eye that you're dragging but you can tell by taking a transit and it always helps to take um, more than one transit if you can if you've got a couple that you can take and just keep an eye on that so that's why I said don't come down in the dark because you can't take your transit so get down so get somewhere nice in the daytime Get your mud weight down, take your transits, take regular readings on your transits, 
for a while and if you're not moving and you're you're stuck there then you're fine you can stay there overnight but just always keep a lookout whilst you're at anchor always now that is one way you can do it another way is electronically if you've got the equipment to do that let's have a look at that so we come up to the now we've got our navigation equipment so we can see where we are but you can get if you're using I mean you can get this on your phone even they're free apps you can download them they don't cost anything now you can get anchor pro anchor pro and you can get that on your you can get that on an iPad you can get it on your phones iPhones or, or your Android phones so we can set the anchor set it for current location we're now it's got us anchored we can kick that up on a map so what it'll do is it'll put us in the center of this circle now if we drift out of that circle it'll sound start sounding an alarm to let us know that we've drifted out of that circle which is very good so you could use that in combination with a transit to make sure you don't go anywhere Okay, pulling the anchor up or pulling your mud weight up. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult. If it goes too deep into the mud, it'll be very difficult to pull out. So if that's the case, then just keep it tied off tight. And you just back your engine into reverse to pull the mud weight out of the mud. Once it breaks loose, come back up, untie it, pull it back up. Let's try this one. Very difficult. That went a long way in. Oh my God. So now, the next thing you've got to deal with, that mud weight, it's cleaning the mud for a length of time. When I've pulled it up, it's just a big ball of mud hanging on the rope. So lower it back down into the water, but not to the bottom. Just lower it a couple of feet under the water, tie it back off. off securely and then what we're going to do we're going to go back to the helm and we're going to motor ahead we're going to motor ahead for a little while just to wash the mud off so let's do that and then we'll get it get it back on board just to check it out okay Clean off. So let's see. Let's see how that comes up there. Uh, 
That's a bit better. That's a bit better. Completely clean. Get this untied. Thank you.